So the U.S. is a bully in this sense. They're trying to isolate, and I think this is essentially to destroy the Cuban scientific community. The United States of America is changing its relationship with the people of Cuba. I am canceling the last administration's deal with Cuba. Cuba is in real crisis. We are adding sanctions. Immediately uh, after the announcement that relations between the U.S. and Cuba would be normalized, steps were taken in different fields to try to establish closer ties. There were visits, for example, from the NIH, National Institutes of Health, to Cuba to discuss with scientific centers and people from Cuba went to visit uh, the U.S. We were talking about this. People to work in uh, U.S. universities, uh, U.S. research centers, and having people come and work with us. And there were many plans that were uh, being thought up and written out of things we could do together. As soon as uh, the Trump administration began its, uh, uh, to work, the first thing they did was to shut this down. And the uh, U.S. scientists that have been so enthusiastic to work with us immediately said, there's no future for this. Uh, these plans have to be shelved. Unfortunately, during Biden's administration, uh, very little changed. People are simply afraid to work with Cuba. And in fact, we know that some legislators have proposed that anybody that works with Cuban labs would be prohibited receiving federal funds. And since for biomedical research, for health, the principal funder is the U.S. government, these labs will be ruined. It's not only the problem of being able to work with Cuban and U.S. scientists together. Some European scientists are scared of working with Cuba because they feel this would harm their relations with the U.S. So the U.S. is a bully in this sense. They're trying to isolate and I think this is essentially to destroy the Cuban scientific community. And this is what we feel, because this kind of measures have no justification. They solve no problem of national security for the United States, and they're harmful for the health of Cubans and uh, American citizens. This, I think, has no precedent in the world history. The cutting down avenues of saving people's lives, of making people's lives better, just through scientific collaboration, which is by definition an international enterprise. And it's a shame because together we could do much more than uh, each side on its own.